In this short video, I'm going to be showing you how to use ChatGPT in the Swahili language. Now, whether you want to translate the front page of ChatGPT to Swahili, or whether you want to actually chat with ChatGPT in the Swahili language and get a response back in that same language, in the next two minutes, I'm going to be showing everything you need to do in order to make that happen. Now, with that said, I do want to mention that ChatGPT is currently only available in English because as you can see on the left-hand side here, there isn't a settings option, which actually means that you can't change any settings, including the language on ChatGPT. However, uh, I did find a way around that and I'm about to show it to you right now. So, uh, I am using Google Chrome on the Windows PC. So, if you're using a different uh, operating system, device or browser, the process might be a little bit different for you. So, at the very least, please do make sure that you use Google Chrome because I'm not sure whether any of the other browsers actually have the feature that I'm about to show you. So, once you're on ChatGPT, simply right-click anywhere on the screen, then click on Translate to. Now, in my case, it says English. In your case, it might say French or whatever you're from. So, to add Swahili to this uh, list of languages here, simply click on the three dots, then click on choose another language, then click on the little arrow and go right towards the bottom, which is where Swahili is. So, go to S and find Swahili, which is right here. Then click on translate. And as you can see, uh, the front page of ChatGPT is now translated into the Swahili language. So, when it actually comes to talking to ChatGPT in Swahili, uh, you don't actually need to do anything. All you have to do is simply talk to ChatGPT in Swahili and it will revert back to you in that same language. So just to show you an example before you go, I've copied and pasted the phrase from Google Translate, which I'm about to test ChatGPT with right now. Now, if it does give you an error, all you have to do is simply refresh the page and try again. In some cases, ChatGPT might even take a little while to come back with a response. So if that happens, just refresh the page and try again. And within a few seconds, ChatGPT should come back to you with uh, an answer. So as you can see, I've got a response already. I'm not sure what this is because I don't speak the language. But if you do, then you know what it means. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please do go ahead and leave a like down below. Ask to go to the channel. If you have any questions, uh, let me know down in the comments below. And I'll do my best to answer them.